just want to do a quick review here on the Benchmade. Just got it, didn't even break the sales here. The 15 500 meat crafter. I saw this knife. Uh, Benchmade's been really throwing out some nice stuff. I've always liked their stuff, but uh, let's just see this knife now. You'll probably fall in love with it like I did. Oh, somebody did cut my sales. Might have been me earlier. the bench made uh, use and care manual here they do have a uh, life sharp warranty with these things if they ever get so far gone that uh, you want to send them back they'll sharpen it up and send it right back to you now it's got the uh, this is the saddle mountain skinner from their hunt series this is the newest version I do have the older one too but that's it's been a great knife what is that and this one would be the hidden canyon I love these holsters because if you'd want to go through the woods and hide that thing you know you don't want to be the most visible thing on archery season whatever you flip that towards your body that way this part be underneath your clothing same with this but if you're skinning something it's really easy or quartering to lose your knife we just make sure that you lay the thing down like that or if it's rifle season you don't really care but i kind of thought that would be a nice match but this thing semi-flexible blade to it but just it it just fits well in the hand sure like any other bench I will fall in love with it but it's a really cool design and I just wanted to uh, throw something up there I think that isn't a nice little mix between probably what I'd call a fillet type blade and uh, more of a boning knife but it's just it's really light and again you have that nice holster I think it makes a nice three pack to just grab and go could cut stuff down uh, I want to say this one's the cheapest knife sitting here too. It's sorry about the sniffing. It's probably only uh, 140 bucks most places. They are getting hard to find. There's a meat eater version that uh, Steve Rinella designed, I guess, and this might be the Benchmade decided to. I don't know. I don't want to say pirate, but use the same exact blade profile with a different handle. This one's a lot less. I think his is 310 dollars, but uh, I don't. Let's see here. And this has a little different steel, so his may be of a different hardness for certain. I think his is CM45V, this is CPM154, but I don't think you're going to have any issues with it. I mean, Benchmade stands behind their knives, and really, some people say, why do you spend so much money on them? I, I have to tell you, I've never had one disappoint me out in the field. They're razor sharp, and they're just... It, it beats a $40 knives I started with from Walmart there. Or, I'm sorry, back in the day, Kmart. Oh, my Lord, the, the sharper brand. You could get an edge to them, but these things will hold it, and they're just a joy to, to really work stuff. So I'm looking forward to getting this into some animals. I'm probably going to be doing some red tag hunting here uh, shortly. And then I have an elk trip for September, and then before I get into the regular season. But I really, really fell in love with this right away. I would recommend checking one out. You might be able to find them. I got this one at Bass Pro Shops. Uh, anywhere there's a bench meat dealer, maybe even your local gun shop. But this handle is kind of soft, whereas these, it's it's nice. It would really give you some grip if you're all blooded up in a mess and just wanted to slice and dice. Got a really nice blade to it compared to the other ones. And like I said, again, it's the affordable one. So maybe it's your starter into the bench meat world. A buck, buck 30, buck 40 something down the road. Um, I don't think it's a bad price point. And from there, you'll probably get caught with the addiction but the handle like all these other ones don't really have that top part with the snaps we were all used to back in the day but it, it holds in there nice you can throw that in your pack you don't have to worry about it coming out and cutting you and these holsters are of course not going to give you an issue with getting wet or rotten over time they're just going to protect your knife as you're going out throwing your adventure so just something to look into I think it's a great knife by all appearances I like pretty much everything about it but any questions put them down below i'll figure out more as i get to using this thing as uh, time goes on but i really can't argue first appearances are worth a lot and this thing's gonna get some hard use this year so i'll figure it out but if it's something you're thinking about go take a look at one at uh, a store and see if it's right for you